Hi VC, hi YouTube, it's Rob here with another video and this video is going to be uh, my top 10 favourite cover versions that I think are actually better than the originals uh, and this is a contest entry for Nick Rudo. so I'll go and check Nick Rudo's channel out over in America, I think he was pushing for 700 subscribers but he's well over that, I think he'll soon be at 1000 by the end of the year, maybe Nick, hopefully um, there's so many great channels i just want to plug a few um uh, i've noticed that uh, sean now spinning tv started making videos again so go and check sean out of course we've got in scotland scott spinner one george um gatefall 33 dale um steve witty in birmingham john bellamy um psyche in the valley steve and um, a couple of new channels nick's final butty and uh, Mark Hesford, just for the record. Um, all need our encouragement. Harris Pilton, of course, uh, down on the south coast. There's many, many more vinyl Dale. Um, so anyway, here's my top 10 favorite cover versions. And coming in at number 10, uh, one of my favorite punk bands. It's the UK Subs, and she's not there, covering the uh, Zombies track. So of course, this comes on colored vinyl. All the UK subs singles, I remember getting Stranglehold on Red Vinyl and Tomorrow's Girl on Blue and Warhead on Brown and Party in Paris on Pink. Big fan of the UK subs. The bass on this is just spectacular. Great single. My number 10 is She's Not There by the UK subs. Coming in at number 9 is this sleeve looks like it's been chewed by a rat. Uh, but it's the Stranglers, quite appropriately, with a cover of Dion Warwick's Walk On By. So quite a lot of punk bands sort of covered, sort of classics if you like. Um, but yeah, Walk On By. Um, I, I do like the Dion Warwick version, uh, but I much prefer the Stranglers version of Walk On By. Coming in at number eight is uh, Kirsty McCall with her cover version of the Billy Bragg song, New England. If you notice, quite a lot of these have got the single, uh, the middles out uh, because I did use to have a jukebox and um, I'm sure this one was on my jukebox. I do really like Billy Bragg, but I do think that Kirsty McCall's version of New England is actually better than the Billy Bragg version. Coming in at number seven is The Flying Lizards and Money. So Deborah Evans Stickland has the distinctive vocal on this single from 1979. Originally a Barrett Strong song, which was on with the Beatles. So when this came out in 79, I'd not heard the Beatles version and I'd not heard the Barrett Strong version. Uh, and it's always been sort of one of my favourite singles from sort of 1979. So, yeah, coming in at number seven is Money by the Flying Lizards. Number six, another sort of um, punkish record from, I think this might have been 1980. It's um, the Dickies. This has been to a few parties. And um, Nights in White Satin, so the cover of the Moody Blues song on white vinyl. Again, the Dickies, uh, me and my friends, I think that fan mail was on red vinyl and Banana Splits was on yellow vinyl. Uh, but this version of Nights in White Satin is excellent. I really like it. Coming to number six is Nights in White Satin by the Dickies. Number five is um, the Chimes and I still haven't found what I'm looking for. So made famous, of course, by U2. And I do like the YouTube version, but there's something about this version. The Chimes Scottish outfit. Um, this is from, I think it's from the early 90s. Um, and it's got a real gospel. And they really stamp their own authority on this version. That's it with the cover version. You've got to make it your own. And uh, the Chimes certainly made this their own. So my number five, I still haven't found what I'm looking for. Coming in at number four. Uh, made famous by a band called The Persuaders is the Pretenders version of A Thin Line 
between love and hate so uh, this wasn't a hit single uh, but I remember when it came out that um, I really liked this song uh, I wasn't aware of the original from 1971 but when I've heard the original uh, Chrissy Hines certainly makes this her own so my number four is The Pretenders and A Thin Line Between Love and Hate. Number three is Dear Prudence by Susie and the Banshees. So again, Susie and the Banshees really make this their own. Um, getting into Susie and the Banshees at the moment. Um, back in sort of 84, I think, when this came out, uh, I was 83. I wasn't uh, aware really of I knew that Dear Prudence was a Beatles song but I don't think I'd ever heard it and for me I always um, when I hear Dear Prudence I just think of this version it's just top draw so it's my number three Susie and the Banshees with Dear Prudence number two is Blamange so Blamange um, a duo Quite famous in the UK, sort of in the early 80s. And this is a cover of um, the ABBA song, The Day Before You Came, which was on The Visitor, album from 81. And this song, um, again, I didn't know it was an ABBA song. It's such a clever song about the mundane things that you do the day before you probably meet the most important person in your life. I've always loved it. It's a great song. So, yeah, Blamange with their cover of the ABBA song, The Day Before You Came. And coming in at number one is Brothers Johnson with their cover version of the Shuggy Otis song, Strawberry Letter 23. So Strawberry Letter 23, I can remember when it came out. Um, I loved it when it came out. I think it was quite a big hit. In America but in the UK uh, struggled to make the top 30. Uh, I didn't know uh, Shuggy Otis, it's only over the last probably 10-15 years that I actually realised that this wasn't an original Brothers Johnson track but that doesn't change my opinion of it. It's certainly one of my favourite sort of singles of all time so it was always going to be my number one. Used it, I think it was in the Jackie Brown uh, soundtrack. I'm sure it's been used on plenty of other films so but it's my number one brothers johnson and strawberry letter 23 so there's my top 10 and this is uh, like i say a contest entry for nick rudeau go and check out nick's channel it's well worth checking out it's a really nice guy over in america so if you've got any comments about my uh, top 10 i'd love to hear from you thanks for watching and bye for now